Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-69 from R.C. Hibbeler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, if the resultant force acting on the bracket that is given to us in the vector form, determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of force F. Now to solve this problem, let us express each force in terms of Cartesian vector form. So for force F, now for force F, we have been given these coordinate direction angles. These are alpha, beta and gamma. So with the help of these coordinate direction angles, the force F in terms of Cartesian vector form could be written as F cos alpha i plus F cos beta j plus F cos gamma k. Now we have the another force that is the force F1. So for F1, now I can resolve F1 is a three dimensional force and I can resolve it by drawing a projection of this F1 force on the xy plane. So the projection would look something like this. This is the projection of force F1 on the xy plane. Okay, uh, let's label this projection. So it is F1 cos 45. So F1 cos 45 is the projection of F1 on XY plane. Now I can resolve this projection into two components along X and Y axes. So one component is along the X axis and one component is along the y-axis. So let's label them as well. It's slightly off. Yes, that's better. This one right here is F1 cos 45 and cos 30 and this component along the y-axis is F1 cos 45 and sin 30. Now we have one more component that is along the negative z direction of F1 force and the component looks something like this. Let me draw it. So this is the component of F1 force in the negative z direction. I hope it's clear. And let's call this F1 sine 45 degrees. And it is directed in the negative sense of positive z axis. So it would be taken as negative. So let us write this F1 force in terms of Cartesian vector form. F1 is equals to the x component that is F1 cos 45 into cos 30 i plus F1 cos 45 and sine 30 j minus F1 sin 45 k. Now we know that the value of F1 that is given to us in the problem is 750 newtons. So F1 is 750 newtons, the magnitude, 
So f1 becomes after substituting the values, if you substitute 750 right here, then it would become 459.3i plus 265.2j minus 530.3k. So now we have defined these two forces in terms of Cartesian vector form. Let's move towards the next step. The resultant force could be written as F plus F1. The resultant force is given to us as negative 300i plus 650j plus 250k is equals to F and F in terms of Cartesian vector form is F cos alpha i plus F cos beta j plus F cos gamma k plus the F1 force in terms of Cartesian vector form. So it is 459.3i plus 265.2j minus 530.3k. If I shift this i, i, j and k components to the left hand side, so f force in terms of Cartesian vector form could become f cos alpha i plus f cos beta j plus f cos gamma k is equals to Negative 759.3i plus 384.8j and it would be positive 780.3k. What I have done here is that I just shifted these components to the left hand side and then I subtracted them. This right here is fx. This right here is fy and that is fz. So if I want this is the expression of Cartesian vector form of force f basically. So if I want to find the magnitude of force F, then the magnitude could be found by using the Pythagoras theorem. So F is equals to square root of Fx square plus Fy square plus Fz square. When you substitute the values, it would be 759.3 the whole square plus 384.8 the whole square plus 780.3 the whole square. So when you solve it and simplify it, it becomes 115 4.76 newtons. So this is our first answer. Now we have to find the coordinate direction angles means alpha, beta and gamma. So for coordinate direction angles, We know that cos alpha is equals to fx 
the x component of the force f divided by its magnitude. So from here, alpha is equals to cos inverse. And what's the value of fx? It's negative 759.3 divided by the magnitude of force f, that's 1154.76. So when you solve it, it becomes Yeah, that's better. So when you solve it, the alpha becomes 131.1 degrees. Now you have to repeat the same procedure to find the beta and the gamma. So cos beta is equals to Fy over the magnitude of force F, which in turn is equals to cos inverse of 384.8 divided by 1154.76. So from here, beta becomes 70.5 degrees. And now for the gamma. So cos gamma is equal to Fz over the magnitude of force F. So it is equal to 780. 0.3 divided by again 1154.76. So from here, after taking the cos inverse, gamma is equals to 47.5 degrees. So this is our second answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question regarding the resolution of components of F1 force, then feel free to ask in the comments box. I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.